have one more thing that I want to share with you about QuiltCon in Atlanta and my trip there, and that is that I decided a long time ago to join the Modern Quilt Guild quilt swap that was happening at QuiltCon in person. Hey quilters, I'm Kristen with Icy Stars Quilting. Welcome to my channel. I share tips, tricks, and tutorials for the modern quilter. If you haven't seen my videos on QuiltCon, please go back and watch them. I have so much to talk about and so much to share. And the comments that have I have had from those videos have made me feel very thankful for the opportunity to be able to share that. Oh, and give me a thumbs up for this video too, please. YouTube loves it when you love me. All the stuff is in those videos. I'm gonna put a link across the top of the screen here for you so that you can go check out those videos. And believe me, you don't want to miss the video with all of the quilts in it because, hmm amazing quilting. So what I wanted to share with you today was what a quilt swap is. And it's a really fun, totally free, QuiltCon has done it every single year. What they do is you sign a form. They pair you up with another quilter from somewhere, anywhere, I don't know, somewhere. And they pair you up and you share a little bit of information about yourself. You get to make a friend. <laughs> Okay, you get to exchange like your social accounts or your email, however you prefer to be contacted. You share what you like about quilting, what you don't like about quilting, your favorite colors, and then you go to work. Now, sometimes you become like really, really good, amazing friends with this quilter. And other times you just kind of hang back and know that you're making a special treasure for another quilter out there who is in turn making a special treasure for you. I got paired with this sweet girl named Katie and she is amazing and I have her permission to share this quilt on my channel because it's so fun. I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyways, I have Katie's permission to share this information with you. The idea of it is that you spend all of this time, months ahead of time, making something, working on it, and then you meet up at QuiltCon together and exchange quilts. So you have a friend there. Even if you're going by yourself, you already have a friend at these big events with tons and tons of people. So let me share with you what I made for Katie. Now this is my quilt. The center of the quilt is actually a panel from Ruby Star Society and I loved the message on it. I loved the message on it. I actually used double batting in this before I quilted it so that it would have that extra puff factor. Um, by the way, that's totally a real term. Loftness, I suppose, is the more technical term for it. But And then I put a very like nice subtle border around it so that, again, the main focus is on that center panel. I really, really wanted those florals to stand out. I wanted it to look artistic. I wanted it to be freeing and fun. And then because I could not stop myself, I actually did some hand sewing on those beads that are around the centers of the, the lower flowers. I loved, loved, loved working on this quilt, but I want to show you the moment that we met and got to exchange our quilts. Now, mind you, we've never met before, okay? I've talked to her through email a few times, and I've been working on this quilt with, you know, this person in mind for a while, but let me show you what happened when we met. And that's so fun. <laughs> I felt like it was like, um, I don't know, just meeting like a long lost friend because I had thought of her for so long while I worked on this piece, okay? And really and truly, she was so sweet. And I saw her multiple times throughout the quilt show and we always waved and said hi and, and checked in with, with each other how we're doing, right? I know you saw a little bit in, in the clip of us exchanging quilts, but I want to show you some more details on her quilt. So what she got out of my slight little bitty survey that I sent on my dis likes and dislikes was I like pink, <laughs> I like blue, and I like stars. Um, so 
Um, that's what she created for me. Look at the beautiful fabrics. Okay, again, this is Ruby Star Society fabrics. I love it. You know, in her works, the piecing is very perfect. And I love all of the ways that she did the quilting around the outside, that echoing and it kept going. And I mean, that was sometime with the walking foot, right? I love what she did. But you know, this isn't these like exchanges aren't necessarily about the skill that you have. You know, you could be a brand new beginner quilter and not be adventurous in all of this and pick something very, very simple to do. But the act of making something for somebody else, a complete stranger, then coming to meet them and already having a friend, I just think it's really beautiful. And if I'm going to be there in person, I'm going to do these exchanges every single year because I love doing it. I love meeting new people and I love seeing, you know, a custom piece created for me. Check and see if you want to get into this. It's it's fun. There is a quilt swap fairy who kind of contacts you along the way to make sure, hey, you do know <laughs> that um, quilt shows in like a month, right? You have your quilt finished. Are you ready to go? You know, just kind of check with you progress wise and stuff. And then she makes appointment to go up and make sure that you two meet up at the show as well. There is an event where all of the quilt swappers come together. And I had plans to go to that event, even though my friend Katie wasn't going to be there until the next day at the quilt show. Um, I had plans to go to that quilt swap, but I didn't make it because we were tired and we were hungry. And that's really my only excuse. <laughs> so I didn't get to go to that event because I was tired and I was hungry and I was ready to call it quits for the day. But all of the quilt swappers meet at one place at one time and get to find their quilt swap partner and then exchange gifts. And so I'm sure it's a very amazing, like, you know, experience to go through. And I'm hoping maybe next year in Rally I will um, make sure I eat ahead of time so that we don't... <laughs> have to skip it next time. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that little clip and show you how much fun it is and just give you another little insight into the little perks of actually being there in person. Now I say that, but there was an option to do this quilt swap with somebody who was not going to be at the show, okay? So it's like a modern quilt guild perk, I guess. You know, you can sign up to do the quilt swap and then mail your quilts to each other, even if you're not gonna be there in person. It's fun and there are many quilts, okay? So the biggest it could be is like 24 by 24 and I think we both really hit that that mark there. So I hope you enjoyed that little bitty sneak peek into you know, just a little bit more quilt show fun. I think that's probably the last of my quilt con videos. I have many, many more stories to tell, but I also have other videos to make. So if I miss something really important that you are curious about and you want to know more about, please leave it in the comments down below and I will answer your questions and get back to you about that. I know I've had a couple people ask me for like dates for next year and stuff. This is the website right here where you will get all of the information on quilt con for 2020 for and rally and you will um, be able to get some more information on like where the hotels are and all of that. I'm not sure that information is up yet but you know keep an eye on it. All that information is posted there and also anything I can tell you might possibly change. So that's where you're going to get your best information. I'm looking forward to doing some more sewing projects in the future. I have a fun quilt coming up next week and I'm going to need your help on it a little bit. I need some, I need some opinions. I'm pretty sure you got them. So <laughs> I hope that you have a wonderful day. I'm Kristen with Icy Stars Quilting. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything else in the future. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.